Coucou les puces. Hello my loves. Marha habibete. Marhaba habibet. Oh, I'm so tired. But um, I got all three in. <laughs> um, so today is a little bit of a... I say this all the time. Not all the time. I say this pretty frequently. Today is a bit of a different video. But it is. Um, because it's not technically a tag. And I don't know if I necessarily want to make it a tag so much as I would encourage anyone watching it. Um who feels a connection or, a, or an inclination um, to film a video about this as well. Basically, I have been here on YouTube for almost a year and um, it's turned into a platform and an outlet that is something so much more amazing than I thought it could ever be. And so I wanted to take a moment to talk about what YouTube means to me. Um, and so if, if you guys have sort of had that connection or if anything in this video speaks, speaks to you, sort of, you know, resonates with you, um, please feel free to sort of either talk about what YouTube means to you down in that comment section or film a video, um, or all that kind of good stuff. So it's not really a tag, but it is a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, here goes. So I just... Uh, I don't know what it is recently, but I've noticed a huge influx of negativity on this platform. Um, and there are comments that I read, the ones almost on other people's videos hurt more than anything that I would ever sort of read on mine. And it's just, there's so, I don't know, it, it's hard. I think um, I was watching Judy from It's Judy Time do a, um, a tag video. And one of the questions was something talking about like what is the YouTube community mean to you or how do you feel about the YouTube community and her comment was something along the lines that she really doesn't feel like there is a sense of community to her as a platform and it's a really powerful one um, but the idea of community she doesn't really connect to and I can appreciate why that is because if you were to ever look on any of her videos there is straight like just crazy kinds of hate and it's it's sad, um, but I think it's endemic of the way that there's hate anywhere um, in this world, sort of in real life, or for our different social media outlets, or what have you. There's just so much negativity, and so at some point you just really have to tune it out because it gets exhausting. I know Rada and I have talked about this, and it's it gets to the point where sometimes you're like, do I keep on it? Like, I, I can't, it makes me so sad to read that kind of hate and that kind of anger. Um, that is it, is it worth it to stay here? And I've had those discussions internally with myself because it'll be one disgusting comment, um, or one mean thing here or, or some, you know, like on one of my videos or one of my friend's videos that'll leave me just so angry and so hurt that I'll be like, is this whole thing all worth it? And every single time it, it comes back to, you know, my whole soul searching on it. Every time it comes back to, you know what, I'm not going to let that negativity stand in the way of of my happiness. Just like, you know, when you turn on the news and you see all kinds of, of hate and anger and, and just really horrible things, it doesn't mean that I lock the door and stay at home all day, you know? Um, it doesn't mean that I alter who I am when I go outside. I am me and I can't be responsible for anyone else. Um, and how they might react to who I am, right? I want to live my life unapologetically as long as I'm not hurting anyone. So, um, yeah, that's sort of the same thing that I've come to on this platform where I'm like, there's a lot of hate and there's a lot of anger, but there's so much beauty and that beauty speaks volumes louder than all the, the anger. And so what does YouTube mean to me? YouTube is a platform um, where I've been able to connect with such amazing human beings who I would never have gotten a chance to interact with otherwise. I'm not the kind of girl, I said this before, who's had a huge amount of friends. Um, I've had a few really close friends. And so when I've gotten to connect with people here who we take that our relationship sort of offline through email or texting or whatever, um, I'm just sort of completely floored by how well I connect with these people and, um, and how much of a blessing that is because I never would have met them if it wasn't for this platform. So first and foremost, that's what YouTube is to me. It's it's an outlet by which I reached um, some amazing lifelong friends that are going to sort of outlive everything um, virtual that happens. They'll, they'll be here for, for a very long time. So for that, I'm definitely really, really grateful. 
Um, the second thing that YouTube is to me, it's an outlet. Uh, my foray <laughs> into makeup and beauty has quickly become something that's almost therapeutic for me. It's it's my me time. It's the almost the only time of day that I can sit and completely shut my mind off. And when I'm stressed or sad or angry or frustrated, um, it's... It's a, it's a little bit of time where I can just sort of escape. It's my secret garden, if you will. Um, and it getting to have this platform just means that I have more reasons to go get stuff to test out or um, it just prolongs, you know, if I'm doing my makeup, for example, I'll get to prolong the time I do my makeup because it means that I can sit and film and take my time and then sit on my computer and edit it. So it's just, it. YouTube has become an outlet that, that's helped... Um, give me some 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 peace and some well-deserved happiness um and yeah I think that I hope it I'm hoping that it's making sense and I'm not getting too mushy but yeah YouTube really for me is a community of friends and it's an outlet um that brings me an enormous amount of happiness and yeah I think before we get too much mushier I'm gonna leave it at that um, but YouTube is different things for different people and that's what's so amazing about YouTube but that's also what's so amazing about makeup. There's something for everyone. We talk about this in almost every review video where it's like this worked for me, this didn't work for me um, and then you guys react to what you know we have either similar or differing opinions. This is what I love about this platform and what I love about makeup. It can be something for everyone and we can each find um, parts of both beauty and YouTube that we really love. So yeah I think that's it. Um, I hope this was fun to watch and something maybe resonated with you. If it did, let us know down below or film your own video and let us know. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to leave it at that for now. Let's do three points of positivity. And um, and yeah, we'll be off. I'm going to do three points of positivity related to this whole YouTube happiness. Um, so, so the first thing that I'm grateful for through YouTube has been all the great new products. You should see how much more makeup I, like I, I wish I'd film a before YouTube and after YouTube picture of, of the situation because I've picked up so many great new um, products because of my beautiful enablers. And when I say enablers in any of my video, I mean in a very loving way. I love being enabled to buy great stuff. So um, that is definitely the first thing that I'm grateful for about this whole journey. The second is I feel like I found my voice a lot more. Not that I was like shy or, you know, didn't know how to speak for myself. But um, I found a newfound confidence um, in myself being here. And so I just really appreciate that. It, it's definitely made me really happy. And then my third point of positivity, also related to things about YouTube that have made, made me feel grateful, is I've just really learned a lot about makeup um, and better techniques and different ways to do stuff and I've been inspired with new ideas and um, when I first started I had like literally been wearing makeup, not literally, I started in December and I started wearing makeup in June. So it had been six months of me playing and I was, if you watched any of those older videos, it was a girl who spent six months playing with makeup and so now almost a year and a half um, later I just I love all the new techniques that I have and how much more confident I feel doing my eye makeup and how much more fun I have um, playing with color and so yeah that's definitely something that's me leaving me feeling grateful okay that is really it for today uh, I want to thank you guys for being on this journey with me for your constant words of support and love and uh, making me laugh and adding to my makeup wish list. You guys are incredibly phenomenal and um, thank you. Thank you so much for that. If any of you guys have been on the fence, I say this almost, you know, every couple of months, but if you've been on the fence about getting on this platform, um, just do it. Try it out. See how it works for you. If it fits in your time, um, schedule or all that kind of good stuff and, and how you enjoy doing it. You have nothing to lose by at least filming a video if you don't like how it is, don't upload it. Um, if you upload it and, and you sort of, you know, either aren't sort of super comfy with it or don't like the way it goes, you can always shut your channel down. It, you have nothing to lose by, by putting yourself out there. So um, if you have been wanting to give it a try, just try it out and see how it goes. Okay, I'm really done. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys with tons of love. Uh, wishing you a phenomenal day. And as always, reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.